So privileged access management tools. These help organizations provide secure, privileged access to critical access, minimizing the risk of security. This is just another software suite, guys, that we can use to give just-in-time permission, to do password vaulting, and also have ephemeral credentials. So it provides temporary credentials that expire after a short duration. This is just another software suite that enables us to have further protection, better authentication, better authorization for the users in our enterprise. Okay, so now let's do this quiz. Okay, question one. How does password vaulting contribute to the security of privileged accounts? So what password vaulting does, guys, right? It stores and manages privileged account passwords securely. So it kind of limits the direct knowledge of passwords by users or the potential for it to be stolen. Question two. Which of the following represents a best practice for password security in an organization? So obviously our password policies, right? We want a good mix of uh, letters, numbers, and symbols. And also this is kind of like, you know, in your environment, you want to promote this as well. Let users know and educate them why it's important. I mean, some cybersecurity professionals think passwordless authentication is better, just all multi-factor. But okay, question three, what is a significant benefit of using a password manager in an organization? So it'd be B, right? So this is even happens on your iPhone where it's like suggested password. It's super long, complex, and you can't rememberize it, but it's unique for every single account you have, and it can be stored and used, right? So it generates and stores complex, unique passwords for different accounts and sites, enhancing security. Question four, what is the primary reason for implementing password expiration policies in an organization? This is to ensure users regularly update their passwords and reduce the risk of password-related breaches. Block out accounts. We're going to go with A here, okay? So yeah, you know, password expiration policies. Every 15, 30 days, you're going to change your password. And that's just to secure our enterprise, okay? Question five. What is a primary security benefit of implementing passwordless authentication in an organization? We're going to talk about this, right? So this is going to eliminate the risk of compromised passwords. Because at the end of the day, no matter how stringent our password policies get, a user is going to find a way to reuse and make it simpler for themselves. And then if we make the password requirement too stringent, that's just going to annoy users, right? And sometimes in organization, corporate politics, you don't want to be the department, the team that's making life harder. And especially if cybersecurity is not like one of the main things a business is worried about. So sometimes password authentication can help us because put a username, do your three factors, like scan your finger, uh, do a face ID on your phone, give us an SMS code, go to that authenticator app, and now we're getting multiple factors, right? You still got to know your username, but now we're not authenticating you just based on username and password. Question six, what is the main advantage of using just-in-time permissions in privileged access management? So that's going to be B, to provide users with privileged access only when needed. So this is just, hey, okay, you're needed here. Authenticate with your multi-factor. Let's make sure it's you. Let's do some identity proofing. Here's the permissions you need. Go and configure, troubleshoot, manage, whatever you need to do. And then when you're done, we're going to take those permissions away from that account. 